guys, it's Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I want to do your June 2021 reading. I'm um, sorry about my throat. I don't know what's going on. I woke up this morning and it's super dry. My eyes are burning and man, and then I keep sneezing. So my allergies are like taking a number on me. Um, so if I sound really raspy, I'm sorry. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking coffee. It's just, I don't know. It's just like really strained. But um, I'm going to do for Sagittarius. I'm going to do your guys' monthly reading. I'm going to do what happened in the past, currently, and then going into June, which today is June 1st, so, but it's just going to be a general slash love reading, so take whatever resonates, whatever comes through, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cross watch, um, if your sun sign doesn't resonate, you can watch for your moon sign, okay, and I'm going to do it a little bit different, so I'm going to do uh, three cards, and I'm going to clarify like I didn't, um, I used to do this in the past here so I'm gonna do like with my older videos if you watch those I would do three cards for past and then I'll do like the current three cards and clarify and then uh, what's going into June I'll do three cards for that as well plus I'm gonna end it with some oracles for the um what's coming in for June and love basic stuff and then kind of like your energy okay so make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video we go ahead and get one more shuffle and I'm gonna see sad that happened in the past with you guys okay Knight of Swords reversed, Page of Wands reversed, High Priestess. Okay, you guys were keeping quiet about something in the past. Um, there's something you didn't really want to go towards. Could have been a Pisces, a Fire sign, or an Air sign. Hair Fent reversed. Okay, something about maybe I'm dumb. You guys had like a divorce or a breakup. Okay, or just weren't committed to somebody. But it's like you wanted to talk to them, but there was not like much love being delivered. Like I said, some kind of separation with somebody things were stuck okay and I feel like you weren't you were in this energy where you just didn't really want to communicate you wanted to be kind of keeping quiet really using your intuition whether or not to come towards somebody or not okay so why is knight of swords reversed okay three of pentacles nine of swords reversed okay there could have been a sense if there wasn't a third party you were just more focused on you know, your finances or trying to focus on other things than this connection. Didn't want to be stressed about it. Let me get one more. Yeah, three of cups reversed. Maybe you wanted to close out some kind of tie to this person or the situation. You wanted to be more on like a work level. Focus more on finances or yourself. Okay, I feel like you didn't really communicate with this person. There could have been a separation. All right, page of wands reversed. <clears throat> page of wands reversed. All right, got the Four of Swords reversed, Star in reverse, Four of Pentacles, King of Swords reversed. I don't know why I picked another card, but but like I said, um, basically there's something here that, you know, you're kind of losing hope with something. I don't know, I feel like you're losing hope, you're still holding on to something or someone, but it's like you're losing that inner energy or that motivation to make it work. It's like you're wanting to communicate but you're like running out of ideas or ways to talk to this person. It's like you're losing hope. Like I said, the King of Swords reversed. Maybe you're not in communication with this person. Or you guys don't have much blunt, direct communication. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Could feel like you guys aren't, you and this person aren't taking off a new direction. Maybe you guys haven't been, you know, there's kind of some kind of blockage or something being delayed. Because I feel like it has to do with the person. Like you're more focused on yourself. But you're still thinking about this high priestess. It's like you're really using your intuition in the past to see what to do. Page of Cups reverse, whether or not you should come towards them. I feel like, yeah, everything's telling you not to right now. All right, with the temperance, so we remain balanced. The Empress, Four of Wands reverse. I feel like you're using your intuition to grow yourself here. Okay, the world. Maybe you had to get rid of old cycles in your life and you have to kind of drop not really drop this connection but not really come towards it either it's like you're really focusing in the past your intuition is telling you to focus on yourself love yourself take care of yourself so that way you can be a better version of yourself to others like i said there's some kind of commitment separation or you guys were separated from somebody maybe your intuition is telling you like the person you thought you were going to be with isn't meant to be with you or you guys are just taking a time out with somebody Okay, to focus on yourself, your growth. Okay, could be dealing with an air sign, fire sign, Pisces. I got water. I got Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Sag. Okay. 
All right, let's see what's currently going on, Sagittarius. Let's see what's currently going on. But yeah, like I said, I apologize for my throat. Sounds like I smoked 10 packs of cigarettes. <laughs> Sounds bad. Sounds like I have, like, really bad health problems, but it's not. It's, I think it's just my allergies. All right, so we got the King of Cups reversed. Right now, you guys aren't really wanting to feel anything in an emotional level with somebody. Strength in reverse. Okay, Three of Pentacles. I feel like you do want to come towards somebody and make it work, but it's like you're not trusting the situation. Or you're losing that confidence. Okay, Queen of Swords reverse. <sighs> I don't know. And it's like it's part of you wants to cut this out of your life and not continue it with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. But I feel like there's a part of you that still wants to, I don't know, I'll clarify. I feel like a part of you still kind of wants to make things work, but you're losing that motivation, that confidence. Okay, Keen of Cups reverse. All right, the sun. All right, Ten of Swords reverse. You're healing right now, Keen of Cups, okay? It's like you're shedding whatever happened in the past. You're wanting to have a new cycle. You want to heal and feel love again. Maybe you guys were in a time where you guys were kind of almost hollow. You guys were very just, you know, like kind of empty feeling inside. Like you didn't feel love. You didn't want to feel love. You didn't want to express love. And I feel like that's old you is shedding and you're starting to heal and you're getting happier and you're starting to actually love things around you again or start to re-love a situation again. Okay? And there could be somebody that has a lot of love for you as well. Could be the king and the queen of cups. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that makes you happy, but they don't express their love for you. Okay? Maybe that's why you don't want to show your love, because this person doesn't express theirs. Okay, why is the strength in reverse? Okay, the knight of cups. Okay, four of wands reverse, page of cups reverse. Okay, I feel like this situation, you guys are kind of disconnected with this person, but I feel like you or them, somebody still is fighting for it. Somebody's still wanting to make it work. Okay, because I feel like it's the other person. I don't feel like it's you. I mean, take what resonates. Whoever's the older person in the equation, I feel like they're the one wanting to come towards the situation and fix it. Because whoever this is, the Page of Cups reverse, somebody feels like they deserve an apology or that they're emotionally kind of not sure what to do in the situation if they should come towards it. Okay. Three of Pentacles reverse. Could be emotionally immature as well. Three of Pentacles for the current moment. The judgment. All about using your intuition. Hermit reverse. Okay. Six of Pentacles reverse. Going from within wondering whether or not you should give attention or energy to this. Okay. The Handman reverse. It's like you're getting more of a better perspective. The Seven of Cups reverse. The Handman reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Everything's telling you that this could be your long term partner. Okay, I feel like you're coming to terms, realization, and I feel like this person's getting a wake-up call, too. I feel like things are going to work in your favor here. Okay, I feel like you guys just need to communicate with each other, and you're finally going to get to this point of, like, is this person meant to be in my life? What is this going? Like, what is this? Where is this going? Where is this headed? What is the um, direction that we should be in? Okay, I feel like you do have, you and this other person have a lot of love for each other. And I feel like this person currently wants to come in and still try for this. If it's not you, it's them. If it's not them, it's you. So take what resonates. Could we deal with an earth sign, water, a Leo, um, a Virgo, Scorpio, fire sign, air sign, and then we have um, Leo. Okay. All right, let's go ahead, guys, and see what's going on in the month of June in the near future regarding June, what's going on with Sag. I'm going to get five shuffles. Make sure we get a really um, accurate reading. Alright, Sag, what's going on in the near future in regards to June? Okay, the hair fit reversed. The Empress, lovers reversed. Still this disconnect with you and this person. Strength reverse. Losing the willpower. Losing the confidence. What is going on? You guys could be dealing with a Taurus, Taurus Libra, or a Gemini. Or they could have strong placements. Alright, why is hair fit reversed? 
All right, the Emperor. So I feel like this person, you are then still fighting for this. But maybe this person's non-committal, or maybe they don't want a commitment just yet. And that might be why you feel disconnected. You're like, well, I want to be in a relationship with you. Why isn't it going this way? But I feel like this person thinks about you a lot, and they're still wanting to take action. If it's not you, it's them. If it's not you, you know, you know what I mean? The full in reverse. So it's still not taking off in a direction of relationship, but I feel like they're still wanting to communicate to you and, you know, talk to you here. All right. I feel like there is growth between either you or the situation. Maybe you guys are trying to reheal this connection that's kind of broken. Why is the Empress here? <clears throat> All right. Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Feeling like this is a time to grow this relationship, to fix it. Seven of Swords reverse, being more honest with each other, not playing games, okay, not being, you know, deceptive. All right, I feel you guys, you or them, whoever, or the situation's going to be more clear, more um, of a better term. You guys are going to get actual growth in this situation. All right, with the Lovers reverse, we do have the Two of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you guys have to make a decision here. Two of Swords reverse. Okay, and the Death. On the bottom, we have the King of Swords. Ugh. I don't know. If it's not you wanting to end it, I feel like you guys, you or this person, are kind of disconnected right now in the month of June. You guys are kind of more disconnected. I don't know necessarily if you guys want to end it, but you know that there's something you have to do. Okay, Two of Wands. or some kind of decision here. And I feel like you already know what it is. The Two of Swords reverse the death. If it's not in this person, like get rid of this relationship, you know that there has to be transformations, okay? That there has to be some kind of transformation taking place in this relationship or connection. Why is death here? Why is death card here? So if it's not you guys ending it, it's a sense of wanting to fix and, you know, heal the situation, transform. Why is the death card here? Knight of Swords reverse. The moon. Ten of Pentacles again. I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot you guys still don't know about the situation. There's still not this clear communication from this person. Or you're not getting clear mindset of to, like what to do. I don't know. It could go either way. Okay, so I get two situations here. I get one, you just decide to completely in this relationship you know you're like you know what i need to work on myself i need to take care of my children take care of myself here or just in general take care of you know whatever and just end it and say this there's no possibility of this you know there's no reason for this happening this relationship's not going anywhere obviously you don't want to be committed to me so i'm just going to end it okay or two you guys feel that there's a disconnect in this relationship and you're working on fixing it but you guys have no, there has to be some kind of transformation. Something has to come to completion in order to fix this relationship. Okay, so I'm trying to give you two scenarios because I know it's different for everybody. I'm not going to just say, hey, break up with this person. It's over. So just take what resonates. Either if you want to fix the relationship because right now I feel like you guys aren't in a commitment. You aren't relationship-wise. Um, then you guys won't know that there's work that has to be made in order to fix it. But you guys are kind of stuck, not sure what else there is to do. Or you guys just decide to completely end this. Okay, so it can go either way. Um, I have Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay, a fixed sign and Aries. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some oracles. See if there's any additional messages here. And that could be like what the Two of Wands is about. Knowing that you have to make some kind of decision whether to move forward in the relationship or end it. Okay? So your guys' oracle this month is sunken ship. Okay? Your past does not have to define your future. Okay? On the bottom, we have tsunami. What are you avoiding? Okay? There might be some conversation or something you're avoiding with somebody. And it's saying, like, not to avoid it. Okay? Let's go ahead and get a moonology. What's your moodology for June? Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Okay, you guys could be dealing with a cancer or just in general, you're safe this month. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, new moon and Capricorn. And let me go ahead and get your romance card for June. 
Let me get a romance card for Sag for June. Okay, we have codependency reverse. Like I said, I feel like in June you guys want to focus more on yourself, not have like an attachment to somebody. Forgiven and learning reverse. Okay, and playfulness. You guys are still trying to forgive somebody for something. But there is going to be this playful energy with you and this person. And it's like you need to give it a chance. But you guys are kind of being stubborn and not wanting to forgive each other for something. Like I said, I feel like there's some communication with you and this person in June that needs to just break the ice and needs to happen. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoy your reading. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.